Well, I said on the TV, I think it's a tough one for the linesman. Um, you know, he's got two decisions to make. Firstly, is Dame offside, which he he did actually say to me that's what he thought the problem was, that Dame was offside. And then Macca's run across the line of the ball in front of the goalie. <clears throat> but I think it's going in anyway. I don't think Macca's done anything to the goalie there to put him off. So it's a tough one. Um, I can accept he's, you know, we make mistakes. I ain't got a massive problem. I've had goals not given that are yard on side, you know. So it was very, very tight. But I'm just pleased with our performance. You know, it was a, a really good push second half to turn around a deficit against a, a good Everton side. You know, they they ain't got well 14 points now for nothing. No, that's what I'm saying. Tonight he wasn't offside. You've had goals for Salah that you've scored. Mm. You scored that, Sorry? You've had goals no, I didn't mean me personally. I meant my team. Sorry, no, no. I didn't score that many. <laughs> I think it's a good point because, you know, we've had to... We... It was our number one target all summer. We stuck on it. Um, and I kept pushing Steve and he yummed and ahed a little bit and uh, a few phone calls to our Americans and questions and but of course he's repaying that uh, because he's a quality player and um, I, I, I do think that he was a bit unlucky at Liverpool to not have a run of games. He's a player that I think needs to run, have a run of games. Andy Carroll was the same, big guys and Ricky Lambert I had at Southampton was the same. Um, and it's difficult, I think, for big guys to come in and out. So we're really pleased with him. He hasn't been on the losing side, I don't think, for us yet, um, which goes to show, you know, the the level he's at. Have you ever uh, come across anyone who's been here? Well, I've managed uh, Teddy Sherman and Andy Carroll, so there's good company. Uh, I think Andy Carroll and Christian are on a par. Uh, but technique-wise, Teddy was probably the best. Uh, he's a he's a handful, isn't he? You know, that anything that comes in the box, if you he pulled onto the fullback, I don't think there's a fullback in the league that could could cope with him. And um, the ball was right on the money. Um, and if we can get quality balls in, we know he's going to score. Is that the major difference this season, Alan? That you've got somebody like that. Well, no, I think all our signings have been so far. Jace, good, you know. The goal has made a big difference. We've uh, we've lost Scotty Dan today. We've come out. We've come here without our captain, and you know, Tonk Tonkins has come in and, and been you know seamless really. I think him and Damo had a really good game tonight. It was a cracking game. I really thought it was a good Premier League game, and uh, we've taken four points from going two goals down at, at Sunderland and one nil down at, at Everton. That's that's really good. Um, that's really good for us and our confidence going forward. Yeah, I got asked that question. It's an interesting one because <laughs> when they're close to the goal, uh, we tend to stand tall because teams will drill it under the wall, of course. Um, and if it's a little bit further out, we jump. And it was right kind of in that area of grey area of what we were going to do. Uh, the goalie made it very, very clear at half time that we should jump from now on. The Delaney's decision was tight, but also mm. the, the first goal, and there's an argument about whether or not it was a, should have been an indirect free kick mm. or a, a yeah. direct free kick. I mean, what was your... well, it was indirect free kick. Well, I, but that rule, you know, I don't know, uh, I meant to put a hand up and say it's indirect, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know, that rule seems to be getting forgotten in football. Um, uh, and it does still stand, does it? Can someone enlighten me? Come on, Jace, get with the rules. <laughs> yeah, it changed, I seem to vaguely remember. But I still was a little bit disappointed with that call because he's dumped his head. damo has got an honest attack on the ball. I mean, you know. Anyway, I'm not going to mind. You know, I'm really pleased with the performance. And I thought Everton were very good as well. They got a very good side there. Uh, and but hopefully both of us can push for Europe. That would be really great.